I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are going to play the third Mystery Case Files, Ravenhurst, which starts on the road to the awesome Mystery Case Files games. It, it also came out in 2006, so it's tiny screen on my end of things. But there are more than hidden object puzzles, so it's not as bad. But let me read our opening, and then we can play. Dear Master Detective, I have long been fascinated by tales of a remote manor near Blackpool, Britain. Those possessing the bravery to venture inside are likely to return with very odd descriptions of what lies within. Almost half of the 30-odd rooms have been locked in a most unusual fashion. Locked to keep secrets safe, some believe. I have recently acquired the diary of a young woman that lived in the home some many years ago. Yet only one entry remains intact. Perhaps you can find the missing pages and unlock the secrets of Ravenhurst Manor. Yours truly, the Queen of England. Seriously. Yeah. I don't know why they put the seriously. That's silly. But yeah, so that's the plot. There's this creepy house in England. The Queen has the diary for the lady who lived there. And we are in charge of figuring out what's actually in the house. And what's behind the locked doors. And that's a very silly thing, but it continues on for quite some time. So let's just pretend that the Queen of England sending us to investigate a haunted house is normal. Okay? Relaxed mode. We're doing relaxed mode. I like to relax. And here we go. Entry 1. August 24th, 1894. My new life. Today I finally made my arrival in Blackpool, England. I already miss my friends and family back home in Iowa, but I always swore that after my final year at the teacher's college, I would spread my wings and see more of this glorious world. I have arranged boarding with the headmistress under whom I shall apprentice in exchange for menial household chores. I'm not much of an asset in the kitchen. With any luck, all my modicum of culinary proficiencies proficiency shall suffice. September 5th, 1894. The diminutive community is not exactly teeming with activity, but I'm anxious to attend the Animal Autumn Dance this Friday evening. Ah, this is, that's the only entry. Dear Master Detective, search Ravenhurst Manor for clues to locating Emma's lost diary entries. I have every bit of faith that you can solve this mystery, but you must hurry. Yours truly, Queenie, the Queen of England. Why do I have to hurry? And I don't know. It's silly. So close the diary. Okay, we don't do that. So in this game, we have the blueprints of the place, and we have locked doors, and we have open doors, and we, for this level, to move on to the locked area, I think, we need 22... No, nope, that's including the locked area, okay. So we need 22 clues. I don't think this one has items that you can use in puzzles, but it does have different puzzles. So it's not just find it games or hidden object puzzles or whatever. Let's start at the front porch. I know I do not need hints. Thank you. And it pretty much works exactly the same way as the last two. So we've got this all set here. And again, it's small. It's slightly bigger than last time. It's like a quarter the size of my full screen. Okay, so let's go. So we need a record, a spear, a service belt, which I totally just saw. Oh, that's an alarm bell. Okay, there it is. A pear. There's the pear. There we go. Okay. Record spear, Texas. Okay. Oh, there it is. An eggplant, an igloo, and an hourglass. Bottom, there's the hourglass. Hourglass. I can't say that. The eggplant. Oh, there it is. Eggplants do not grow from the ceiling. Record and a spear. There's the record. And a spear, which I assume is biggish. There it is. Okay. And now we'll do the entry. So this house was built in the late 1800s when the diary um, was, and 
It has not been inhabited a lot since then. But it has been inhabited a little bit. Like, see, there's a regular everyday tape player. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be in modern times, but I don't actually know that. And it's 2006, so it would be modern times in 2006. That's a fan. Nana. Mandolin. Oh, I needed to find two things. Where's Firewood and Falcon or something else? Um, I want to see if I can hit them both at the same time or if I have to wait like the last two games. Now I can't find anything. Stupid. Oh, there's the bamboo steamer. Okay, I need another thing so I can do them both at the same time. And see if I have to wait or not. And I've forgotten how to find things in a find a puzzle. Good job, me. Oh, there's the falcon. Okay, so. Steamer. Oh, okay, I do have to wait. Falcon and growing. Yep. Alright, but they go faster than in the last game, but I do have to wait until one is in the bag before I can press the next one. Which doesn't seem to be an issue right now because I can't find anything. <laughs> there's a the paintbrush. Okay. Okay, now we have the parlor. Now, if I'm correct, this will be a weird lock. Aha, I'm right. Now, these are interesting. These locks, they don't give you any hints, like, on how to do it. You have to figure it out completely on your own. And they start easy, and they get harder. And it's a lot of fun. And there's words written on there, but they are not in English, so I do not know what they say. If someone knows what they say, let me know. So, like, these guys, that's a sun, so it goes on that side, and a sunflower, and a hat, and a sundial. But the owl goes over here, and the sunglasses go over there, etc., etc. Now, I might have to line them up so that they make sense. Okay, but maybe not. Okay. So now we get a new room. And that's how all these levels work. There's a whole bunch of crazy locks. And they're all completely different from each other. That's why this... This is what... Um, actually, not this game, but the next game in the series, Madam Fate. That's the first game I ever played with this, which Bot Punk introduced me to. Uh, and the whole that's the second one in this series yes and this was what got Madam Fate was what got me into this but this game is just as good as that one it just doesn't have as many different types of things it's only got the locks and the find it puzzles in Madam Fate I think you can also like find items and use them in things and stuff I, I don't remember it's been quite some time since I played that game oh right Ah, and then every time I find a diary entry, I have to do a actual... Like, no, that's a side piece, you... Thank you. No, stop it! Um, every time you find... Every time you complete a level, you have to uh, do a diary entry by putting it together. I was recently reading something um, with um, that took place in the past where they had the season where everyone would uh, who wasn't married yet would go out to parties and stuff and try to find like dates and that kind of thing. And oh my gosh, am I glad I didn't live back then. That sounds absolutely horrible. Can you imagine having to get all dressed up and go to a party and the specific reason is you're trying to, like, get someone to be interested in you who you would, like, then marry. But, like, the only way to do it is to have, like, perfect manners and this and that, even if that's, like, not the normal way you would act. Very strange. Oops. 
Entry 2, September 10, 1894, an intriguing man. The autumn formal was absolutely what my homesick heart required. Any time is occasion for dance, as my father is one to proclaim. I felt at home for the first time since my arrival in England. This evening's reverie also brought an encounter with a dashing young man by the name of Charles Dalimar. An exceptionally handsome fellow, this one. I do believe he requested my hand for the better half of the gala when not dancing about like two of my young students. We were engrossed in conversations. <laughs> it, it got away. She likes him. <laughs> The last game, everything went slow. Apparently, this one, everything goes fast. Oh, good, it's over here too. I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> when not dancing about like two of my young students, we were engrossed in conversations, both enthralling and mundane. I must have made quite an impression, for his eyes did not long take leave of mine. So, yes, Charles Dalamar, that's him. This is not All right, now we are on the first floor. Oh, we're still on the first floor. Never mind. Let's do the entry again. This game is not one of the ones where when you find things, they disappear. And you can find things this year, which is not fun, I think. I think it's a lot more fun when the stuff disappears, because then it kind of feels like you're cleaning, too. And I don't know why I think that's fun, but it is. <laughs> I'm weird. What do you want? A sombrero. I saw that onion too, didn't I? No, that was in the other level. That's an orange. Oranges and onions are different. An oil can, a waffle, a gas lamp, and a birdhouse. Is that the gas lamp? Really? It looked like it had a candle in it. Okay. Oil... that? No. Uh, oil can and a waffle. I think I'd be able to see the waffle. Oh, there's the oil can. I think I'd be able to see the oil can. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. Yeah, that's a good song. There's a cupcake, I think. What am I looking for? A waffle in a birdhouse. There's a bird nest. Where's the waffle? And a lobster. I don't know what this basket is made out of, but it kind of looks like it's made out of a dead armadillo. Doesn't it? That's creepy. I, I don't like that. Waffle! Found the waffle. Which means we can go to the next place because we don't need to find everything. The dining room. Oh, look at this. Now you have to keep in mind that there is actual clues to the story. Oh, I can go back. In the weirdness, so like murder. And then this is a picture of a man and wife and the wife's face is crossed out. So that could in fact be important to the story. Oh, I should probably say I've played this game before, but it was at least 10 years ago. So I kind of know what happens, but most of this game is just reading the story and then trying to find all the wacky things in the Find It games. Hey, the frog! He's cute! And a rubber chicken. What am I looking for? A lure and a moth. Is that a lure? Yep. Okay. Is that a machine gun up there? Weird. A moth, a paintbrush, and a mushroom. I was not looking for them paintbrush or the mushroom. The house is very creepy, you know, because it creaks in the wind. The apple. Oh, there's a bunchicle. My school used to call, when I was in elementary school, they used to have these, and it was chocolate on the outside and vanilla on the inside, and they called them brown cows, and I don't know why. Like, that wasn't their real name or anything, but that's literally what they were on the menu as. There's a mushroom. And a shrimp. What else am I looking for? A moth and a paintbrush. The, these puzzles are harder than the ones in the other game, which is impressive because the other game they were kind of hard too. Well, uh, what? No! <laughs> that is not how cows work. All right, I'm gonna go to the next place. Wait, let's go back here. You said the birdhouse was in the middle? Where? There's a moth. <laughs> middle, right. That's not a birdhouse. Oh, there it is. Good job, me. Okay, now we get to do another puzzle! Ha 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 ha! 
Right. Okay. They give you zero instructions. So now I have to figure out. You dropped the rubber ducky. Clock. The hour hand moves, but the rest of it doesn't. Okay. I can pop. Okay, I can blow up the balloon. Alright, I guess I need to get the top off of that. Ooh, with this. Can I turn it back the other way, or do I just... Huh. And there's a lock. <laughs> <laughs> 9.30, okay. <laughs> I have scissors, but they don't come off. Hmm. Oh, that's supposed to ignite this. There we go. And then the hot water comes down here and fills up the bathtub, which does what? Releases the balloon for some reason. And that scares the dude. And let's turn on the glow switch. And the door's open! <laughs> I love these things. They're ridiculous. Like I said, they get harder as it goes, too. Uh, okay, what am I looking for? Bell, I just saw the lantern. There's the lantern. A brown envelope. An auger. Oh, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. It's attached. A skillet. Horn. That's not a horn. That's the record player. Handsaw and a wooden fork. There's the handsaw. A bell, a horn, and a wooden fork. A bell, a horn, and a wooden fork. There's a bell. Should've seen that. There's a gun. There's a horn. Right in the floor. I don't know why I have such a hard time seeing things that are like right in the front. Oh, there it is. On the record player. Or the phonograph, shall we say. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I kept hitting the wrong button. Oh yeah, no. The last game we were playing, for those who don't know, one of the end game things, instead of doing the puzzle, uh, was doing a freaking word find, which I'm dyslexic, so I'm terrible at them. But also, like, it wasn't just like, oh, here's letters and you have to find the words and that kind of thing. All of the letters were different. Like, it was a, um, like a ransom note type deal. So it was almost impossible to find anything. It was really irritating. But I was a couple of times, I did not think we were going to get through it. She looks much less happy in this picture. The dude did something weird. I don't remember the specifics of this story, I just know how it ends. And Otbunk doesn't know anything about it at all. Dive! Entry found! Excellent work! Okay, now we know what's going to be on the next page, so here we go. Entry 3, February 5th, 1895. Courtship and Proposal. For many months now, my days have been spent educating my students' young minds, while my evenings belong to my wonderful Charles. He often steals me from my chores, but the headmistress doesn't seem to mind. March 14th, 1895. After a delightful carriage ride this evening, Charles amazed me by dropping to one knee and producing the most beautiful engagement ring. This is the moment in my life for which every young wait. This is the moment in life for which every young woman waits. A wealthy, handsome man asking for her hand in marriage. As Charles knelt before me, his request hanging in the air, I felt my breath catch. Yes, that's always how these things work, isn't it? Super happy. A 
but we don't know why. Ooh, I thought there was a front porch. That's okay. All right, let's see. Uh, broom head. Just there. A spider. Oh no, a spider. A lion. Chicken. Uh, medicine bag. A saxophone. A wristwatch and shears. Okay, so we need a lion, a conch shell, which I did not have to look for. Like an old-timey doctor bag? Maybe. Oh, there's a lion. Lion, conch shell, medicine bag, and saxophone. Oh! I got it. You already knew that and were telling me rather than pondering. Saxophone, wristwatch, and shoes. I wonder when saxophones were invented. They're probably older than I think they are. Up oh, there it is. Wristwatch and shears which sometimes they think are scissors. Is the shears? Okay. Alright, let's go to the porch. Alright, a hat. 1864 or 1846. Good. See? Dyslexic. Okay. That is longer ago than I thought. Not quite as longer ago as I thought that I might think. Never mind. I screwed. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably mo uh, used for something that wasn't jazz. Like, I don't know what, but I think, though I don't know when jazz was invented either. Wait, I saw the ice cream cone in this because I remember seeing it. Oh, there it is. Uh, an alarm is up here. It goes down here. The steak is over here. A Cupid doll. Where's the Cupid doll? These, like, were fair giveaway things, and they were very popular. It's like a naked doll with a pointy head. I don't actually understand that. Alright, let's see. So we need a shell and vice grips. And now we just need a shell. Or do we? Oh yeah, no, we don't. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it was around a while before there was jazz. I am looking for a shell. Yay, I found it there. Okay, now we can go to the first floor or the second floor. Oh, or the garden. Let's do the garden. Alright, dishes, deer head. Pineapple, chopsticks. I saw the pineapple. I know I did. Dang it. Oh, there it is. Chopsticks, flying saucer, which is not in the air. Oh, it's in the air. A coat tree. Oh. I don't know what I think those are called, but I never think they're called coat trees, and I've seen them in multiple games where they've called it that. I guess I just figure it's a coat hanger, but I guess that's something else, huh? Let's, oh, there's a chopstick. Right in front again. Two horns and a heart. Yeah, a coat rack. But like, I don't know, I think that's something else too. Heart on the window. Yes, it is. Okay, now is this two horns together? No, it's two horns separate. Here's one, here's another. Okay. Alright, so now we finish the first one. Oh, we have the one thing in the kitchen. What was the one thing in the kitchen we were looking for? A wristwatch. Which. Is that it? Okay, cool. Alright, now we're on the second floor. The guest bathroom. Okay. Let's see. So, okay, that's for a meat grinder, and that's a cute cat, and I assume he has to catch the fishy. How do we move the fish? Okay, so I have to figure out how to time this. Ah. Got him! Oh, and that goes in the meat grinder. <laughs> okay, but I need a nickel to play this game. There's a Z. There's a fortune teller! I guess I need a coin to play that too. Dancing ballerinas. Um, oh, there's a snake! I didn't even see the snake. Uh, there's a chalkboard. Is there any chalk around? Uh, it 
it's different. Kitty cat just meows. I need a piece of chocolate. What's that? I don't know what that is. Snake, why are you down there? Oh, I don't need a piece of chalk. Oh, I have to beat this, huh? It's hard to beat. Exos. Right. Yay, I did it! You can only beat tic-tac-toe if your opponent is stupid. Oh, okay, I got the coin from here, and that's for the fortune teller. Oh. Bizarre. Okay, wow. Oh, look at this fish. That looks giant. I wonder if it's really that big in real life. It's a giant bug, too. I don't like that as much. Okay, where am I? Dragon eggplant garlic press. Is that a garlic press? Yes. There's a dragon eggplant. And then we have an asparagus, and a barbell, and a dinosaur. Or a dragon asparagus, a barbell, and a dinosaur. Token? Oh, oh, oh. You saw a truck with a confederate flag because you live. That's different. Oh, there's a dinosaur. Yeah, you live in North Carolina, so that is deepish south-ish. I don't know if that's technically deep south or not. A wooden leg and a cloth sack. Yeah, rural areas tend to have more Confederate flags. Because, I don't know, I guess maybe they don't interact with enough different kinds of people. Maybe? Yeah, PA is not the south. PA is the north, though I have a friend who lives in uh, like middle Pennsylvania and he calls it pencil tucky. So I am not looking for anything. I am looking for a dragon. Dragon. Where's the dragon? Dragon! And a barbell and a wooden leg. I was not looking for- oh. I found everything. That was fast. Or am I just not paying attention? No. Stop, you jerk. I hate games where they want you to be like super precise because I am not that. Oh, and just so we're clear to everyone listening, we are very anti racist because that's not cool. People are people are people are people. <laughs> I mean, even if they won, we would still be anti-racist. That, that's not the issue. The issue is that you need to be nice to people. And all people are people. And if you're not nice to them, they won't share their snacks. And people from other colors and ethnicities and countries, they have awesome snacks. And they're not sharing them with us because they don't like us. And I take that as a personal offense, but not to them, because, yeah, we kind of deserve it lots of times, but to the people who are messing up my ability to get yummy snacks. Have you ever had, for example, fresh baklava? No, you haven't. And you should be sad about that, because it's amazing! There, There's a, a, a few... Um, uh, people from Egypt who go to our church and they, they brought in fresh baklava that one of the ladies made and it was so good. You have no idea. You might be allergic to pistachios. When did that come up? All right, let me read this. Entry number four, March 16th, 1895. Indecision. Well, I probably you're allergic to pistachios. Who knew? Okay. I have avoided Charles these past days while I give his proposal its due measure of contemplation. I've awaited this experience for as long as I can remember, and I find myself wondering how different my life might become. March 17, 1895. After shedding many a tear, I made up my mind to decline Charles' proposal. It's so difficult to be certain that I've made the correct decision, 
yet I feel my adult life is just now beginning to unfold. March 18, 1895. The delay of my reply, coupled with my melancholy demeanor, must surely have wounded Charles this day. I have denied that which he has so graciously offered. Wow, I forgot about this part, actually. So apparently I don't know the story very well. Okay, let's go back to the grounds. I want to do these in order. Backyard. That is a very messy backyard. It's a bunny. Bunny, bunny. Okay. I need a carrot, though. There's a carrot. Okay. Bullet can opener seahorse. Bullet can opener. Who's bullet? Can opener. Is that a can opener? Yes. Those are fishes, and that's seahorse, though. Seahorse ice cream giraffe. Oh, there's giraffe. Well, that's a giraffe's head. That's not a full giraffe. An S and an egg timer. I thought I saw the egg timer. All right, seahorse ice cream S egg timer. Where's the egg timer? Where's the S? I could have sworn I saw the egg timer. There it is. It was up here in the giraffe. Okay, seahorse and ice cream. Seahorse, there's a puppy. There's a seahorse. I love seahorses. They're so cute. Ice cream. My children ate all my ice cream makes me very upset. That is one of the issues with having children, is they, they get your stuff. And ice cream's hard, because it's hard to hide it. Yes, you did, you said. I don't see ice cream, so let's go to the next place. First floor. Oh, we didn't do the living room. That's creepy. Whatever the heck that is. There are lots of animals. This person is a cat hoarder, I think. Alright, a pineapple. And oil. The bomb. Frog and the devil. Is that the devil? That is not the real What was I doing? Oil can, frog, devil, bottle. bottle. A fly. Well, there's the devil. That looks familiar. I think that's in a museum somewhere. Well, there's a frog. It's a silly frog. Oh, it's a candle. Oil can, fly, pear, spider. Okay. This picture has skulls all on the outside. That's creepy. Pear. Okay, dining room. We are already here with this. I thought that said Brian. Why is my brain doing that today? There's brain. And a feather. And a pickle. That is not a pickle. That is a cactus. That is a pickle! If I wasn't looking at the cactus, I would not have seen that pickle. And a muffin. That's ice cream. I need that in the other level. And a muffin. Two bells. Oh, and a clock. I saw the clock. That's a light bulb, not a bell. An eyeball. I remember seeing the eyeball last time we were here. Or was that? Oh no, there it is, next to the frog. Eyeballs do not belong in olive jars. That's not a good place for them to be. Right, uh, two bells and an arrowhead. There's a bell. And an arrowhead. Oh, I don't see either of those either. Oh, there's the bell. Wow, how did I miss that? Not see the arrowhead though. So next place, the parlor, which we were also at. oh there's adventures right away. Chocolate cake, cake. There's a cake and a stapler. Nope, that's an iron. Stapler. Cake sounds good. We were talking about pastries yesterday. I want I want pastry. Like I just want a big old thing of pastries. I owe Oh, for heaven's sakes, it's not my fault you moved really far away. If you still live nearby, I would happily be able to get you a cake. But you are far away and you forgot to do cake last time because you had cookies instead. Last time you visited, I mean. What am I looking for? An egg beater. I just saw an egg beater. Egg nap it. All right, flat drum. Oh, I know where that is. A uh, pen and an egg beater. Just saw it. There it is. And a pen. Do we see a pen anywhere? I always thought it would be cool to have a clock that would like bong or a cuckoo clock or something. I mean, we had a cuckoo clock, but we never did anything. But like, to have one in the house, you know? But I, I don't think that I would like having something constantly making noise and ticking and bonging, etc. 
It sounds cool, but I don't think I would actually appreciate it in reality. Middle would... Oh! I was looking for like an ice cream cone, not a pop, even though that was in one of the other levels. Oh, in the music room. Oh, this is the locked one. Alright, let's check this out. In Ladybug, do you do something or are you just like... Okay, no, you just go away. You don't do anything. <laughs> Don't do anything. <laughs> okay. That blows her hair. Oh, okay. So I need to get this up so it will blow on the horn. Okay. And then make music notes to play on the piano, maybe? And what are those for? Huh. Oh, and this is a coin bank. Oh, 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 I know what. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. You need a coin, and that makes it heavier. Aha! Except he's not moving, so that's kind of silly. Okay, now if I do this... Now, if only I knew how to read music. Everything else is done, isn't it? Dang it. Wait, did that work? <laughs> I did that on accident. It's a mousy. Well, it's an angry mousy. I did. If I could read music, I could have done. I, I'm too dyslexic, too dyslexic to read music. The the notes jump around on the uh, the lines, which is annoying because I really wish I could read music. I've always wanted to be able to play an instrument of some sort, and I can sort of, kind of play the piano, but only because I know the songs where the keys are, not from being able to read anything. And I am not paying attention. Okay, dart, mouse, noose. Shoe tree, which is different than the coach tree. And it's not actually a shoe tree. That is not that, not a tree. It's a single shoe holder. Flower. And a moth ball. Not that? No, that's an eggy. There's another eggy. Look, the fat lady singing. What am I doing? There's a moth. Oh! It's a moth ball. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Does a snake count as a mousetrap? Dude, we watched this video the other day. I don't know if you saw it or not. You saw it. This guy puts his pet ball python, I believe, in a hole in the wall and then puts a bucket underneath the hole and out comes like 12 rats. <laughs> It was not okay. I will link it in the description when I put it on YouTube. Oh my god. Why are you putting the snake in the wall? Oh. Oh! Oh! No! Not okay! Not okay at all! Yeah, so that was that was the thing. The internet is a very strange place. Oh, we have hints. Oh wow. That was well hidden. That stupid fly, though. Oh, it's a fish fly, not a fly fly. That's why I couldn't find it. Cheeky. There we go. I don't know who either of these dudes are. Architecture plans. Hmm. No. The 
doesn't look like either of these guys was Charles. And I don't really remember what Charles looked like. <laughs> he was a generic dude. Okay. Entry 5, April 3rd, 1895. A friend returns. Charles took my refusal with great disappointment, and I fear it to be the end of our friendship. While I feel not yet prepared for the bonds of marriage, it pains my heart to wound him so. Have I made the correct decision? April 5th, 1895. After more than two weeks' absence, I received a welcome visitor. Charles surprised me after school today with a bouquet of red roses in front of a most mischievous grin. I was overjoyed to see him and took comfort in knowing he appreciated my decision. Charles excitedly delivered news of his purchase of a large acreage on a remote periphery of the township. He has secured funding to construct a beautiful home. No, oh, I guess one of them is him. Servants' quarters. Okay. A moth, which I don't think we found last time. And duct tape, which is right there. Brown bottle. last time I was here. There it is. And shears, which are here. And a ball of string. Stove top, upper right, under the wheel. Oh, yes, you're right. That's the same one I saw in a different level. An olive. We don't need an olive. We need a moth and a ball of string. There's a ball of string. Moth is on the photograph one. Oh, yeah, it is. I remember seeing that last time. So that wasn't the room that I couldn't find the moth in. I remember not being able to find a moth, though. Okay, we've got basement, is that? Ground floor, let's see, back here. Okay. Umbrella! There was a snake here? Oh, yeah, there he is. I missed him last time. Can't open this here. Here, a tricycle, is that what this is? Yes. A corkscrew. Oh, a turtle. Did I see a turtle? There's an alligator. Oh, there's a turtle. I didn't see him last time. Uh, corkscrew, hacksaw, and balloons. There's a balloons. Corkscrew. There it is. Hacksaw. As these games start to get where the items are kind of in realistic positions, we're not there yet. But um, when they do, I find it interesting because a lot of the time, I can kind of guess where the person who made the level put stuff based on where I would think it would be in real life. Not like, oh, this is going to be over here, but I bet this is going to be in the back. I bet this is going to be on the floor. I bet this is going to be on the wall. That kind of thing. Not necessarily making any like sense, but sort of at the same time making sense. Do we get to fish this time? No. Okay. Enough rambling. Feather duster, muffin, and a bust. Where's the muffin? Bust. I don't see the feather duster. It keeps thinking this fish is something else. A film reel. Grapes. I did see grapes. That's not grapes, that's a dinosaur. Oh, and there's some mistletoe. Where's the grapes? There they are. I saw them. Snowshoe. Dinosaur. A drum. Barbell. I saw a barbell in a different level. What was that one? Okay. And a feather duster. Is that it? Wow, that's a weird feather duster. Huh. Do we do the basement? Oh, that's the one with the lock. Okay. Do this one first. The study. Okay. A cucumber. Shackles. Pocket watch. And a trowel. Oh, there's the shackles. Pipe and a ladle. The bat. I'm getting distracted. Who even took my meds today? Wow, that's an interesting thing. Santa on the car. Weird. Cucumber, trowel, pipe, ladle, butterfly, eyeball. Did I see my eyeball? I didn't see an eyeball. I usually find. Well, that's not a cucumber. That's a that's a squash. All right. I usually find eyeballs and bugs. Pretty. Travel, a pipe, a ladle, and a butterfly. 
Right. Oh, there's the pipe. A trowel and a ladle and a butterfly. There's a butterfly. So just a trowel and a ladle. Ladle, ladle, ladle. What are some of the stuff they put? That's not a ladle. It's a spoon. Ladles have the bowl at a 90 degree angle to the handle. I wonder if sometimes they just don't know what the stuff is and they just grab pictures of it and put it in the thing. Or if they actually know what all of these things are. Lower. Middle! Yes! I'm Jorge. I make this spackle. Basement! Oh, this is interesting. Okay, there's a fly in there. And a bell. And an army dude. That's to tune the TV. Change the channel. Are there buttons missing? Oh, okay, so the Venus flytrap must have to eat the fly. <laughs> Bizarre. Oh, that's not working. Letters. That doesn't work yet. That's a compass. And a letter. Okay, so where do we begin then? Aha! Okay, I started whatever this thing is. Does that mean this works? Okay, now this works. And now we have a light. And that did what for me? Does that mean this works? Okay, this works too now. Oh, okay, here we go. KQXB. K. Q. Q. X. B. There goes the fly. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And not at all 1800s. This is like early 1900s, not super early 1900s, but. All right, let's see. Aspirin, a thermos, moose, abacus. Oh, the weird noise. Dart, a bowling ball. Somebody threw the bowling ball. Oh, a cookie. A bowling ball into the tea. That's not where bowling balls live. There's some dynamite and some barbecue, I think. What am I looking for? Aspirin, dart, ball, and chain. And a fountain pen. Wait, no, that's not bad. There it is. Oh, okay. What on earth happened here? He does look dead, doesn't he? Or almost dead, one or the other. Very much not in a good way. Did he die during construction? There's a board next to him. Maybe he died during construction. Maybe he was bored to death. Really? Really, really, that joke was bad, and you should feel bad for telling it. I think this would be a lot more interesting if you didn't know what the puzzle was of. Like, this would be a lot cooler to find out about as you went along, instead of seeing the whole picture, and then just having to put everything where it goes. There's lots of people around him, so probably wasn't, like... A murder. Yeah, he probably fell and died when he was helping make the house or something. Okay. Entry 6, May 14, 1895. Tragedy. A dark cloud of mourning has befallen the town. A carpenter by the name of Frank Williams fell to his death this very morning, dropped from the topmost scaffolding on Charles, Charles Dalamar's future home to be quite specific. May 16th, 1895. Today I accompanied Charles to the funeral of the poor man whose life was lost at the foot of his new home. 
Charles remained quiet and sullen during the proceedings. I was deeply saddened to learn that the, the deceased left behind a young wife and two children. As the pallbearers lowered the coffin into the yard, Charles leaned near me and whispered, Perhaps I am a cursed man, meant to reside alone within my bedeviled manor. Okay. Yeah, it's bedeviled. My brain didn't like that for some reason. The pantry, that is a big spider. I don't like that at all. Grapes. Pick. Pulley. And a bat. And a mouse. There are lots of animals in this. Moon. This is pretty good. A shell. Oh, there's a mouse. And a shell. A scorpion. I don't want the scorpion. Macaroni. Is that what this is? It's a frog in a hat. That's adorable. A pick and a beetle. Okay. So what kind of pick and a beetle? There's another spider. There are lots of spiders here. Oh, there's a beetle. I have a pick though. Ooh, some sushi. Hungry. Always hungry. Though I did not eat dinner yet, so that's probably part of the issue. It's still quiet out there. I'm kind of surprised that the gamers haven't showed up yet, as it is Saturday as I am recording this. I do not see or know what the pick is. Well, yeah, but I, I, it was too early. All right, back to the entry. A spine. Not a good thing to find in the entry of a house. And a rifle. Yeah, it's mildly not great. Lobster. Again. But I don't wanna. I'm not hungry then. Headphones? No, I don't know what that is. Headphones. Bamboo skateboards up here. Chopsticks. I did see. Maracas. I did see. And bagels. Bagels! Bagels. There they are. Alright, chopsticks and maracas, which I know I saw the maracas. Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, right on the floor in the front. Why don't I look there on purpose since I know I never see anything there? Sheesh. basement. We're in the first floor. Kitchen. All right, let's see. A fan. A fortune cookie. There it is. A woman's sandal. A gavel. I've seen a lot of gavels in these levels, too. A bellows. I'm pretty sure I saw. Oh, there's a fan. A mushroom and a pizza. I saw the pizza because I'm hungry. <laughs> There's the mushrooms. Those are cockroaches, I think. That's not okay. And a feather. All right, so a gavel, a bellows, and a feather. There's a gavel right next to the chin. Feather and a bellow. Oh. Oh, what? Upper left. What am I looking for? Bellows are red. Oh my gosh. I did see them here. Right. Thank you. Anything on the first floor? Yeah, we're on the second floor. Music room. Very creepy. Alright. A dart. A crayon, which is over here. Bird gray. Three eggs. Oh, I found the eggs last time. There's one egg. And two eggs. Where was the other one? Oh, oh there it is. If this is the egg. Yep. Yay! All right, a coin stack and an animal. Okay, so there's a coin stack and a flower, which is down here, and corn. Yep, you can see that. So we need the dark and an animal. There's the animal right in the front. Oh my gosh, I don't remember being able to find the dart in this room last time. No, I found it last time. I remember that. It was a different room. I couldn't find the dart. Okay, so we finished the first floor and the basement. Now we go to the tower. The Widow's Walk. That is a very big gargoyle. Oh, he has ice cream. And I want it. Okay, an olive. Nope, that's a maraca. A olive. I like black olives, but not green olives. I always think I should like green olives, but every time I try one, it's like, nope. Not a thing. 
I'm not sure if that's because of the brine or the pimento. I'm not, I don't actually know. A sombrero. There it is. Suitcase. I thought I thought a caterpillar. And an orange slice. And a goose. Is that the goose? Yes. You're telling a story about a goose. How's that going? I know earlier you were very much going, uh, so I wasn't sure how it was going now. What's that? Oh, what that is. oh, that's like a evil plant. Creepy. I do not see a caterpillar. Oh, there he is. It's a woolly bear. I love woolly bears. So you can't just say honk. You have to answer the question. It's going terribly. No, it's not. I liked it. You're doing a good job. You're not allowed to be mean to yourself. Look, a machine gun. I don't know what the pick is. What is that? Do you see anything there? Oh, there it is. Okay. It was a little higher than the the little thing was. Uh-oh. She looks sad. Now what happened? Um, now what happened? That so goes there. Thank you. Something bad happened. What am I doing? I've lost concentration suddenly. This has a lot less reading than the, uh, the last game we were playing, even though it does have a quite a bit of reading. What was it? The, um, the uh, Mystery Tracker's The Void? Oh my gosh, it was like 50% reading. <laughs> it was really cool and the story was awesome, but there was so much reading. And I think that was how they had to do the earlier games, because they didn't really have ways to move the story along in-game. But I think that as the games got more advanced, like, technologically, I think the stories got lamer. Like, this is a good story, this one. Even though it's kind of old school. Entry 7, May 23rd, 1895. News from home. I received an unfortunate letter from home. My father is ill. Mother did not write of the details, but she requests that I return to Iowa as quickly as reasonably possible. My sadness and apprehension threaten to overwhelm me, but I am doing my best to keep that darkness at bay for now. I will speak with the headmistress before I make arrangements for travel. I must also inform Charles that I will be taking leave of England for a spell, if not for good. It will sadden me a great deal to leave my new friends behind, but I'm quite frantic with concern for my father. It seems that unlucky events have been surrounding me of late. Aw, that's not good. All right, vice grips. Tape. Honey dipper, I saw a honey dipper. There it is. Pepper. Pepper, don't put the bug. Pepper, that's not pepper. There it is. All right, I guess let's do this level and the next door puzzle and then we'll, or this find it puzzle and the next door puzzle. I forgot what I'm looking for, a comb and a cactus. There's a cactus, that's a big cactus. And a hat. Mr. Frog. Hey, a frog. He's Mr. Frog. Comb and tape. I'm starting to hear yelling from the other room, too, which I am sure you can also hear. Oh, let's see. One more. Let's just find the tape, or the comb, rather, and then we can go do the last door puzzle for the day. Oh, there it is. Excuse me, Amo. Okay, let's find the next door puzzle. Wait. Oh. Ha! Ah, hang on. There we go. Wait, aren't there any? First floor, second floor, third floor. Oh, there it is. All right, we'll do this and then we'll be done for the night. That's a lot of clocks. 
satisfied customer. <laughs> oh, that I can move around. That's interesting. This stamp falls down. I can't do anything with There's a turtle! Oh, I can move the turtle, too. And this, what is going on? That was a much bigger bang than the bangs that were happening before. And an icicle. Okay, and the thermometer heats up. And a pepper grinder. Okay, so I'm assuming I need all of the clock. Where does the clock start? Let's push the button. Nothing happened. I can move the hands. What are all these weird, oh, the objects, I bet go down here. Okay, hang on. No? Okay, maybe not. Or maybe I have to get them in a certain order or something. All right. Well, this is the one that's got the button on it. So this must be the first clock. Maybe if I put them all to the same time. Well, that one doesn't move. Okay, so maybe I have to put them all to that time. So 3.30, and then press the button. Oh, oh, okay. I was right, kind of. Okay. All right, so now let's stop it. Are you just gonna keep going now? Do I have to put them all to 3.30? Okay. Okay, maybe I have to set it to all the clock times then. I knew that. I just figured that out, but I knew that. Yep. Okay. And there's the sun. All right, I got it. I got it. Nine and two. And the baby. Oh, I don't like that it's ticking now. Fire and an icicle. Yep. And two and four. Ah, a woman and a man. And let's see, a nine and a five. And a bunny. And a, oh, the rabbit and the hare. Got it. Okay. And the last one is the eight. And that's an angel and a devil. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Now, all right, so we have five, two, six, four, three, five, three. Yes! Got it. Cool beans. Okay, but we're gonna stop here. Go to the main menu. Yay! That was pretty fun. Okay, quit. There we go. That was fun. I love that game. It's so much cool. I love that they don't give you any idea what you're supposed to do with the puzzle, which is weird because normally I complain that they don't give you any idea what to do with the puzzle. But normally when games do that on accident, it's because they just don't do it properly and you have no clue what you're supposed to be doing. But this, you get to interact with everything and the interactions kind of give you clues on what you're supposed to be doing. And it's just, you have to puzzle through the whole thing. I think that's so cool. This one does that. Madam Fate does that. A lot of the ones in this series do it. Though eventually they kind of move away from it and go into the regular kind of modern, oh, you have to find this item to fix this thing kind of setup. But that, that's one of the reasons I like this series so much is because of the cool lock puzzles. And next time... We are going to be playing Mystery Trackers, which we started the new one. So we're going to be continuing that one. And then the next time after that will be Grim Tales, which we will be also starting a new one because we finished that one. So yeah, that was fun. And I hope you enjoyed. And definitely, definitely look out. I'm going to be posting a bunch of stuff on YouTube because I actually have one finished that I haven't posted yet. And I'm halfway done with another one and I need to catch up. But when these get posted to YouTube, 
Make sure you also check the description because in the description is all the weird things we were talking about today and links to them and explanations and stuff like that because I'm a nerd and I like looking that stuff up. And what else? Oh, I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff, but I never remember to. So there, I did it. Is everyone proud of me now? <laughs> all right. Smash that like button. No, that's stupid. I mean, it's not stupid. It's how you get people to subscribe to you and all that kind of stuff. But it, it sounds silly. I don't know. At any rate, I'm Fate Touched and I will see you later. Bye.